All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the, hang on, don't aim that down range yet. Aim it towards the ground, please. Oh, my hair is This is Michelle, as you all know, from Sweets and Sprinkles. <laughs> Glitz and glitter. Glitz and glitter also. <laughs> and this is what she's gonna be doing. We actually had a test shot just a little bit ago. And if you look right there, that was her first shot. So, she's 30 foot away. And just to test her, I'm gonna sit here and put my hand right here. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So we're, she's 30 foot away. No pressure. I can't get it off. Let's see how she does. Michelle with Glitz and Glitter. She's taking aim. Oh my gosh. Hi, Ray. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't think that I would want to make her mad. What you I think? Win. What you think, Miss Glitz and Glitter? I think I won because your hole is way up at the top corner. Well, yeah, but the scope was messed up. No, it wasn't messed up for me. Mm -hmm. That's because we went last night and got it all fixed, didn't we? But I never shot it. You shot it 40 times yesterday. Okay. So how you feel? You like it? I'm the winner. What do you Hold want it up. Me? Give me a pose. <laughs> all right. Sure. What do you got to say to all your fans? Thanks, guys, for watching. Love you all. See you in a bit. So he just shot his, and he pulled the arrow out before I can get here. But do you see that hole right there? That's his hole. Those are my two holes. So I'm the winner. What, you need a second chance? <laughs> yeah. You don't want a girl to show you up? Nope. All right, here's the second chance. I have to run there after he shoots it so he doesn't <laughs> pull it out. Let's see. I still win. It is in oh, the God. white. What do you got to say for yourself? That I got one bad you know what mama for a <laughs> wife. Good morning Glitz and Glitter fans. My name's Don. <laughs> I'm Michelle's husband. Hi guys. And I guess I got to tell you why I'm in here and why I'm going to do a resin product project is because I bought a crossbow and yeah, well, they saw the clip. My wife outshot me. So today, I took my pellet rifle out there and I told her that if she could hit her target right in the center, that I would do a resin project. And she did. <laughs> so here we are. So this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to do a buck. And I've got... Uh, a Timu Chameleon Powder, yellow, orange, and red, which I'm gonna paint throughout the whole body. All these little nice little areas. And then we have these. I call them little gold flakes. I don't know what they are. They're rocks. They look like flakes to me. Who's doing this project? Sorry. You or me? Okay. And these are gonna be laid in the antlers. So I'm gonna sprinkle them into the antlers. And then we have this black, what is this stuff? It's mica powder. Black, <laughs> black <laughs> mica powder that I'm gonna paint here in the eye. And that's what we're gonna do. How much resin? What'd you tell me? Uh, four <laughs> ounces. <laughs> four ounces of resin. Do you have any other notes you need to tell them? Um, or did you? Did you did I told him about everything? the Timu, I told him about the gold flakes, the mica powder. So now you're going to mix the resin. So now I'm going to mix the resin. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're back. So I got this stuff. This is letter A. There's an A and a B. I guess it's a two-part thing. And all this stuff's going to be linked in the thing below. She told me you have to tie, I have to tell you that. So everything's going to be linked. So <laughs> I got to use two ounces of this. And she said I can't go over it. It's got to be exact. So, we're getting there, little by little. little. You gotta be eye level. It's 
gotta be exact. It's gotta be exact. It looks pretty doggone close to me. So, here I am putting the letter A away. It's going back over here. And we're gonna get letter B. Because <laughs> I guess that's what Is you're it exact? Do. <clears throat> that's not exact. That's no. Oh, that man. is not exact. Alright, I gotta go back to letter A. Just a drip. You have to be at the line. A little more. I don't have my glasses. That was more than a drip. For all you husbands out there watching. A little more. Run. Run while you can. Oh, okay, that's perfect. Wow, that was a lot. <clears throat> All right. Now, down here and do letter B. And put two ounces of this in here. Don't go over. Or what? You gonna fire me? Nope. Kick me out you of the room? You start all over again. <laughs> so you gonna tell me every time you pour one it's exact? Yes. Oh. Who would think pouring would be so hard? <laughs> I'm in trouble. Okay. Let me see it. Is that close enough? Um, just a drip. Yeah, just a drip. Oh, there's my doorbell. Be right back. Our chameleon powder from Timu. And we're going to start painting everywhere I want to paint. I have no idea what this is going to come out looking like, but it might look pretty cool. Don't you want that ear painted? Well, you gotta give me time. So you have the general idea what I'm doing here. We'll fast forward this. Well, this stuff covers a lot. You barely got to touch the brush to it. You do want it up the sides, too. And what sides? The sides of this form? The sides of all of it, yeah. You're going to see the sides. It's not sticking to the sides. I guess it is. Just can't see it. So my wife says I'm not allowed to say or do anything that's embarrassing. And since none of you guys know me out there, I do a lot of that. So I'm being restricted today. That's okay. I will be out shooting him tomorrow, so we'll see him for tomorrow's project as well. <laughs> Just I, kidding. I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's Sunday. Yeah, my doctor works on Sundays, especially for me. Help me get out of situations like this. So who chose how to design this? I did. Mm. That's our five-minute timer. We had a stirred... Uh, a and B stuff for five minutes. <laughs> it's called resin. Yeah, the resin mixture for five minutes. Well, if you know what it's called, why do you have to do that for? A 
this is a lot of this stuff got to go in here. It's fast. I'm sorry, guys. I'll apologize now because I got no idea how this is going to look later. <laughs> so while we're doing this, I've got a joke for you. No! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I didn't want to tell a joke anyways. I think this is going to look okay. So you got to do all these sides of this stuff? Where's your other glove? Well, I had it right there and you stopped me to paint. I'll put it oh. on before I put the resin on. I know, I got to have the PPE in, on. <laughs> so would this qualify as a PPD? One letter less? What do I do when I got extra powder in here? Well, just, you should just kind of move it around so you don't waste it. And then you're gonna flip it over and tap it out when you're done. But don't be stingy with it. See spots? I'm not quite done yet. We can always get more. By going to Timu <laughs> and ordering. He never knows what I order until he watches my YouTube videos. Which will be linked below. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Tomorrow I'm selling all my guns, crossbow, pellet rifle. They're all going. Good, more money for resin. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Oh, wow, you are caking it in there, aren't you? Did you not just tell me not to be chintzy with it? Oh, get that spot right there. Oh. Micromanager. Yeah, I'm teaching you. Yeah, teaching me. Make sure all the sides are coated. See, like up in there. there you have to pick it up and actually turn it and see what you missed you don't need to brush plenty of time is it in the resin setting we have time we forgot to paint first that's why before we mix the resin <laughs> he was so excited yeah just jumping out of my pants <laughs> Well, I jumped out of half of them. See, I got shorts. Oh, I missed this whole section over here. I think I got it all. Sure looks like it. So flip it over and tap it all out. You can even look at this side and see if you missed any spots. Flip it back over and check it again. Wow, look at all that. <laughs> Use that powder if you need to touch up any areas. Isn't that part of his ear? And his head right there? This? Yeah. Hmm. And that ear right there. So Not that's that. Just this right here and this. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna do the black mica powder. 
I'm not sure where you got that. Where'd you get that at? It'll be linked below. It'll be linked below. So that's going to be the eye. So we'll go ahead and do that. That doesn't do like the gold does. No, it won't. So what do we do with that? You don't need that much. You're going to have to tap that out too. All right. All right. So now notice I got my PPE going. So what's your next step? Next step, I'm going to put the cap back on this black stuff so it doesn't fall all over because I'm not cleaning it up. So now we got our little... I have to show peanut. Okay. We've got our little gold flakes that I've got to... You're going to want to pack them in there. A lot of them? Mm -hmm. You're going to want to fill it. I guess you could go halfway up because they're going to sink anyway and we do have to mix the resin in. Generally, I would coat these in resin first, but because the project is half and half, we decided not to coat them first. That would be half messed up and half wrong. Oh, look at that. My PPE ain't functioning right. We have the ability to fix that. Let me get this. What we're going to do now, folks, is we're going to take this little pointy thing and we're just going to kind of move these around. Are you mocking me? No. I'm just simply following directions. I'm going to move them you around. Want enough in there. Add more if you need more. I don't think I want any more. You don't want any? See that spot right there? Oh, well, maybe that spot. You have two choices. Run? Nope. We can pour the clear over the antlers. We'll dump, we could dump a little bit of this, this resin into a smaller bottle, just enough for the antlers, and then mix this in black. If you put black over a chameleon powder, this is the look that you're gonna get. Okay, now let me go get the other one and I'm gonna show you something. If you pour clear over the chameleon powder, this, these are exactly the same. Most of the people watching this video saw this. This one was done in black, this one was done in clear. So if you pour black in here, it's going to be more vibrant. If we keep it clear, it's gonna be more see-through. So if I keep it clear, is it going to be more of this color, right? It'll be a layer. These are the same exact paint, Micah's. But they're not the orange red. No, but what I'm saying is these are the exact same colors. Mm -hmm. This is probably that color. Okay. In clear and then in black. Well, that's the color I want the deer to be. So you want, <clears throat> okay, well then you can pour clear in the whole thing. Okay. So clear over everything. Clear over everything. And then we're going to take this nice little pointy flexible tool. Silicone. It's a silicone thing. It'll be linked tool. below. <laughs> It'll be linked below this thing. So we're going to pour clear throughout all this and then I'm going to just take this little pointy thing and push down the little gold flakes. You're going to make sure those gold flakes are all covered in resin. All covered in resin. Yep. So that's what we're going to do. And how will you be popping the bubbles? Well, I wanted to go with this. <laughs> Yeah, every man <laughs> likes fire, but I'm not allowed to use that. So instead, we're going to go with the more soft side, <laughs> the 99% alcohol. <laughs> All right. Scrape those sides one last time. So I just and scraped. get it poured before it starts curing. You're an awfully bossy. What? You're bossy. What? You tell me to scrape sides and do this and do that. That's not nice. It's the process of learning. I'm trying to teach you. I don't want to learn. 
Hey, you wanted me to shoot. Oh, wait, I missed, so, a, I missed a little bit of antler. Oh, yeah, you did. See? See? So when... See, this is Glitz and Glitter's teaching going on. See, so, I just happened to catch that. When you pour that, what's your plan? Are you going to pour it in one spot and let it flow through the whole thing? Well, this... Or I, are you going to try to <clears throat> pour it everywhere? Well, I'm going to pour it in some of the big areas like this, the larger areas and kind of let that flow because some of these areas, I'm gonna have to take this, this little pointy thing. Silicone tool. Yeah, a little silicone that's tool. That's linked below. That's linked below. <laughs> and move the resin around. So let's get started. We'll I'll start down here. So if you're going to pour it like this with bubbles in it, it's best to pour from up high in a tiny little stream, which I didn't tell him, although he's doing pretty good. That'll pop most of the bubbles. Oops. Let's not get it on the floor. The wind caught it. He did build me this room, right? So if you want to see it, that is also linked below. And this is what I get. I should have known better. He even went to the store without me and designed all the cabinetry. I'm such a moron. <laughs> Don't so, get the eye. This is going to look so cool. We'll find out tomorrow. But if you buy me a curing machine, we could have found out in two hours. Hint, hint. You could buy your own curing machine. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, ladies and gentlemen, here at Glitz and Glitter, we can do it all. It probably won't take all of that because we have rocks in there. So you're going to want to dome it. You, not yet. You, actually, when you get a little bit in and then mix those rocks up before it gets too high. And then you will dome it. I'm going to dome. Do you know what that means? You got a clue. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't mix those rocks right now with your little my little rubber pokey thing gonna move them around a little bit poke them down below the resin because it's going to release bubbles huh there's gonna be bubbles in there that by doing this i'm releasing the bubbles i'm setting them little suckers free <laughs> i hope you guys are enjoying this extra special episode of, <laughs> of cleansing glitter sucks to be outshot by a girl do you ever think maybe i let you win no, on purpose you did not want to do this because you wanted me to come in here and do this no, for you so you i just wanted to want to do this i just wanted to make her happy folks that's, that's all i just wanted to make my wife happy are you lying i am mm -hmm. okay so all those are kind of pushed down nice and neat so now i'm gonna dome so we're going to go back in and pour just a little bit on top of what I just moved all around. and So where are you going to put this? Well, when it's done, I'm going to give it to my army buddy. What? Yeah. You're not keeping it? I don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send him this YouTube video of what you're telling me. Deli, I love you, brother. He's making you a project. Isn't that sweet? Now, if you get eye level, you'll be able to see if it's domed or not. Oh, it's not domed. Not no. that I know what domed means. 
it means right at the edge of the just above the edge without breaking the tension maybe it will take the whole four ounces so how did we measure this do you remember we took the mold in there in the kitchen and we filled it with water yeah well let me rephrase that because I can't lie. She took the mold in there and she filled it with water. I think that's it. Is it domed? It looks all domed to me. Let me check. All right, you do your checking. No, that is not domed. Where? I cannot see the resin above the edge. Which edge? Over here? The entire thing oh, you're... needs more. Well, then you didn't mix me enough resin. Well, use all of it then. I should be able to see the little bubble come up over the edge. Ah, okay, wait. Let it settle. Oh, there's not much in there. Just put the rest in. It's actually the perfect amount, really. Hang on, let me get my... This was my mixing stick. I've got to, got to scrape the sides. Yes, because we don't waste any. So now what's the next step? Hang on. I'm working here. All right, so. We no. Ah, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> I wanted to use this cool thing. That's some fire. Fire. But I can't use that. So we're going to use alcohol. <laughs> and we're going to squirt it. Not too, too much. Just enough to pop the bubbles. Okay, that's enough. And then we're going to look for... Look for any lint that might have gotten in there. Any rocks that may have moved. You're not going to see any of that dust because the mic is going to cover all of that. You won't see anything on the back. Remember, that's the back. Nice. So if you have floating mica powder, it doesn't matter because it's just going to be like this one. And it just floats to the surface. And you never see it because that. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you ruined my project. <laughs> you did it on purpose. She's tried to sabotage me. Never. 30 years of marriage. No. I would never do that. Okay, I don't see. I had a couple bubbles in here and a couple throughout here, and I kind of moved them around and got them popped. And I don't see anything. I think it's good. Should I give it a little squirt with alcohol nope. one more time because I moved that around a little bit? No, because even if there was a bubble, you won't see it. That's the back. So? So? Now what? I'm out of here. <laughs> Why are you running away? <laughs> there. <gasps> All right, guys. <laughs> we'll be back when it's cured. Hello, Glitz and Glitter fans. This is Michelle's tormented husband. What? Well... It, it just happened. All right, so today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be unmolding what we did yesterday, this. So I'm guessing I just peel this baby right off of here, right? Gently. Gently, huh? It's still bendy. It's still bendy. Do you want to see more videos of the husband no, doing crafts? No, no, no. Don't, don't, or stick to Michelle? Let's stick with Michelle because, you know, she is extremely good at what she does. But I will go out there and say that for those of you that want to try to outshoot her, she can handle her own.
she's a great shot. Rifle, pistol, crossbow, spear gun, spear gun. <laughs> she is good at all the above. Are you having problems? No, I'm just gently working it off. Because it's like together right there. I want to break his antler. This can be in addition to all the mounts that we have on the walls already. <laughs> you got this one. <laughs> this isn't quite as easy as I thought it would be. I'm trying to pull it off. Is there a lunch break? No. Mm. All right. Well, let's see. I see what a line that? line through here that I don't know what caused that. Oh, I think that's the mold probably. And I missed a little area right here. Don't look for the negatives. Look for the positives. The antlers look okay. The antlers look kind of cool. They look like Shit. antlers. I like that. His eyes good? No, I could need it darker in the eye. Oh, well, we can always paint it. And I should have put a little bit of black on the nose. Well, that's what paints for people. You could paint it. You like it with the clear? So, ladies and gentlemen, that watch glitz and glitter. All these products will be listed <laughs> down below. <laughs> don't follow my example give us some comments guys did you enjoy this video or not uh, this was the first one <laughs> the first and the last probably all so, right all i hope you guys all have a blessed day thanks for watching this craziness today stay tuned we'll find some good pictures for you say goodbye goodbye